Well, hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to do something I promised to do a long time ago. I'm going to make a video blog about how to get yourself a straight boyfriend. Um, this is intended for, uh, well, for male to female transsexuals that are interested in dating men. And, uh, well, first of all, the essential question, why a straight boyfriend, you know, if you're an MTF trans person, why not date a gay man, for example? And well, I would say the obvious answer is that gay men, while they may be easier to get, at least you would think, uh, they're not going to be interested in the feminine part of you, you know, if gay men are going to be interested in you, it's because of whatever is left of your masculinity. And if you're a male to female trans, well, you probably seek to become as feminine as possible, and in the end, a gay partner would probably hold you back or, you know, try to make you change your mind, for example, about getting the operation, things like that. You know, it can happen, it has happened to transsexuals before. And well, if that person doesn't, you know, oppose to your transition, then you'll lose this person eventually when you become too feminine for their taste. You know, I'm not saying this because I have something against gay people, but, you know, in general, if you're a male to female trans, you shouldn't be considering yourself as a gay man. You should be trying to view yourself as a straight woman if you're interested in dating men. So the second obvious question is, well, why not date um, those men that call themselves admirers, you know? There's a bunch of men out there that are actively seeking transsexual females, and uh, there's websites where you can meet them. There's one that's very famous that's called You're Not Alone. Uh, spelled U-N-R-A, not alone, and, uh, well, that website has a lot of these, these men that are looking for transsexuals or uh, cross-dressers and whatever, you know, um, I would personally not advise dating an admirer, you know, and maybe there's some of these admirers that are going to be, going to be watching this video and saying, well, why are you saying that? Well, if a man is seeking to date a transsexual, you know, if a man is actively seeking a transsexual person, then it's very likely, you know, that it's not for the right reasons. Um, you know, these people, they're often looking for transsexuals just for sex. And many of them, you know, it's their dirty little secret. They won't even, you know, you might not even be able to get anything beyond sex with these people, sex in a random model room, because they won't want to present you to their family or their friends, you know, they don't want to be seen with you because you're a dirty little secret. And if that's the only thing you are to these people, I would argue it's probably best, you know, not not to seek that kind of relationship. It's not very healthy, it's not very fun, it's not going to be very fulfilling in any way in the end. So I would just skip over that. Now, there's some uh, admirers that will say, well, you know, I'm looking for a transsexual person because transsexuals are very courageous and, uh, you know, they try hard to be feminine and I, I like that in a woman. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, those are not qualities you can't find in, in a genetic girl, you know. Still, there remains the question, why are you looking for a transsexual specifically? And I think we all know the answer. It's because male to female transsexuals, before they get the, the operation, they still have a penis. And there's a lot of men that are turned on by the idea of a female with a penis. Now, it may or may not bar you, you know, to, to have a lover that would be interested in your penis. If it doesn't bother you, then maybe you still want to look into an admirer, and uh, there's many places where you can find them. There's a lot of demand for transsexuals. But, you know, in the end, it might not be what you want. You probably, you know, will get the most fulfilling relationship by dating a straight man in the same way that a genetic girl would someone that's not a fetishist, you know, that's not looking for transsexual, someone is simply looking for a woman, which is what you are, what you seek to be perceived as, you know. So how do you get a straight man is kind of difficult, right? Because most straight men, when they hear transsexual, well, they freak out. They don't want to be associated with that. They think, oh my god, you know, if I'm ever attracted to a transsexual, you know, does that make me gay? And I think the answer is no, you know, it doesn't make you gay to be attracted to a transsexual because you were attracted to someone, you know, that is doing everything 
she can to look like a woman, you know, to be a woman in every way that's possible. You know, so what's what's so gay about that? Nothing. But then, how do you convince these people to date you? Well, first of all, I'd say um, don't tell them right up front that you're transsexual. You know, if you meet a man, don't just go, hey, by the way, I'm, I'm transsexual. You know, that's not going to work. Most likely, they're going to have... Uh, a reaction that's going to be of the sort, you know, whoa, I'm not interested. Or maybe they're gonna freak out. But you probably wanna avoid that. Um, what you probably wanna do is, uh, well, first of all, get far enough into your transition that you can pass and be, you know, integrated into your environment, into society as a female. That takes a while. And it sucks that it takes such a long time, you know, but it's, I think it's necessary. A lot of girls are going to be sad, you know, when I say this, because, well, you, you would like maybe to have someone to date very early in the stages of your transition. And maybe you'll be lucky enough to have that person to support you, but maybe not. And dating when you're transsexual is very tricky, especially early in the transition, because you're changing all the time, and sometimes your partner is not going to be able to adapt to those changes. So, you know, everything taken into consideration, maybe it's best, in fact, you know, if you want to date a man, that you wait later into your transition. You know, you wait until you're full time, you wait until you pass, until you're known as a female. And at some point, you know, you're not even going to have to try very hard. You know, men will just naturally be interested in you because they perceive you as female. And that's exactly what you want, you know. You don't you don't want to go on a dating site and have to say, I'm trans. That's not going to work. You're not going to get the right kind of attention. You probably want, you want it to happen naturally, you know. You want to pass and then at some point, well, you pass well enough, you know, you can dress in a manner that signals to people that you're available and you probably know exactly what I mean. And I don't mean dressing slutty, you know, I mean dressing alluring, you know, interesting, and there's ways of doing that, you know, that are totally classy and fine. And when you get attention from men, well, here's where the game begins, right? First of all, don't tell them in trans up front. Try not to look anxious, you know and let them ask you for a date, you know. And I would say be patient. That's a mistake that many girls do, not just transsexuals. You have to be patient. Patient enough to know the guy's intentions, you know, patient enough to get to know the person. Because there's a certain type of man that you will not want to date whatsoever. This is the type of man that's like overly macho, overly um, homophobic, you know, insecure with their sexuality. If you're dating someone that is the kind of person that would make joke about gay people, you know, stupid jokes, and that would call people fags, you know, and stuff like that, that person is probably not very secure with their own sexuality. And if they learned that you were trans, they would probably feel very betrayed, and they would be uh, probably ag aggressive, and you don't want to date an aggressive person. That's dangerous, and it's, it's avoid that at all costs, you know, you want a man that's very gentle kind, intelligent, understanding from the start. And that's why you take, you take the time to date this person, you know. And you, you don't try to have sex with them on the first night. Definitely not, you know. You probably want to wait at least, at least two months. And, uh, well, some people are going to think that's very long. Maybe by today's standards it is. But you should definitely do that. I think you should also play hard to get, you know. That's uh, something that people forget nowadays, that girls forget. But the best way to get a man's attention sometimes, you know, is to uh, uh, let yourself be desired. You know, let him call you. Do not call the guy. Wait for the guy to call you back. And don't seem, you know, like you really, really want to be with him, you know. Be interesting, be friendly, but let the guy make his move. And uh, there's multiple reasons to do that, but one of them is that at some point this guy is going to find out that you're trans and uh, you don't want him to feel betrayed and you don't want him to feel like you tricked him you know 
Oh my god, you didn't know you didn't reveal that information to me, you tricked me. You don't want that to happen. You want to make things so that when the guy finds out that you're trans, he's going to be like forced to, to be faced with the fact that he made all the moves. He invited you, he called you all those times, you know, and you weren't, you know, that that obviously interested, you know, so he's the one that triggered all the events, you know, that's the reaction that you want psychologically to happen. And well, how do you tell this guy, you know, how, how to make that happen? Well, first of all, um, you don't want to make it uh, too much of a surprise, you know, you don't want to be uh, at the point where you're going to have sex with this guy, you know, and he puts his hands down your pants and he finds out that you're a pre-op transsexual, you do not want that to happen. Why? Because you're probably putting yourself at risk. And if the guy finds himself in that position, it's very likely he'll reject you, you know. Unless he suspected that you were trans somehow, he might reject you, he might beat you, he might harm you, you know, you never know. So you don't want to wait until that point. You don't want to engage into any kind of sexual intercourse with the guy before you told him. Not even oral sex, because he could again feel betrayed, you know. Oh my god, I had sex with a tranny, what the hell, you know. Why didn't you reveal that information to me? That explains why you refuse, you know, to go any, to go any further into a sexual relationship, blah blah blah. So I think you should ideally, you know, delay all sexual intercourse. All forms of sexual contacts, except maybe kissing, until you've told him. And how do you tell him? Well, you probably want to do things formally, you know. I would advise writing a letter to this, this man and explaining things in details. And you don't want to explain things in an apologetic manner where you're apologizing in any ways. You want to explain things, you know, I am a female, you know, in a man's body, and I have always wanted to transition and everything and it's been very difficult for me, and here is everything that I've had to go through. You know, you explain what's a transsexual, you don't assume this person is going to know. Most people don't understand. have to be very explanatory. Don't make it too long, don't make it too short. And get to the point, you know, eventually. And uh, then at the end of your letter, you probably want to say something like, uh, you know, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I was afraid of losing you, and... Uh, and then you know you make it up to the guy. You know, uh, I'll let you. I'll let you think about this and call me back if you're still interested. Otherwise, we can still be friends or something like that. You don't want to make a letter like this. And like I said earlier, if you play the hard to get a little bit, you know, if you let the guy make all the moves, then maybe this guy is going to think about this. You know, and he's going to be surprised. That's for sure. At least if you pass well, you know, and the chances are you you will this person will be surprised and he will think about you and uh, well the great part about this plan is that this this guy will probably you know have taken the time to know you as a woman before he knew you about a transsexual you know before he knew you were trans he knew the woman in you and you took the time to date this person for a while and it's quite possible that he will actually stay with you so now, why am I telling you all this? What's this elaborate scheme to date a straight man? Where does it come from? Well, I have a girlfriend. I've never dated a straight man, but the story I've just told you, this little scheme, uh, well, it's something that some of my friends have done in the past. You know, I have several male to female transsexual friends that have been dating straight men and that have had long lasting relationships with them. And this is kind of how they met these men. So I'm telling you all this information in the hopes that if you're an MTF and you're interested in dating a man, you know, you can find some of this information useful. Because those are the kinds of questions that most T girls ask themselves, you know, because once you start passing, you know, you start living as a woman, it's inevitable that you're going to get some attention from men. But maybe you're going to be scared of this, you know. So, so that's my advice. Take it step by step. Be careful play a little hard to get but let these men date you let them invite you for dinner for for movies for everything you know but let them make the move and uh, you know at some point 
once you feel that re they're really crazy in love about you, whether they're high on the peak, you know, of their attraction to you, then this is the point where you tell them, you know, you tell them when they're most attracted to you, because at that point, it's it's the kind of thing, you know, they're going to have a feeling of euphoria, you know, that happens uh, when you, you meet someone you're attracted to, and uh, at that point, they'll probably be like, oh my god, I don't care, you know, I, I love you. So, well, ideally, you want this man to fall in love with you, and that's that's when you uh, you give him your letter, and you, you break it down to him. And, well, it's fairly possible that you're going to lose this person, you know, I would say there's a, there's probably a 50% chance, maybe slightly more, maybe slightly less. But if you play your cards right, then there's still a fair chance you're going to get to keep that person. You know, several girls have done it, it works. And I think that's the important part, you know, let this person know you as a, as a woman before knowing you as, as a trans person. If you go on a, on a dating site and you advertise yourself as a transsexual, what's going to happen? You're going to get gay men that are in the closet and that are afraid, basically, of being with another man because that would make them gay. You know, men that are into chicks with dicks because that's the only way to be with a chick and still have dick. And that's probably not what you want. So. Hopefully these words, these words will be uh, useful to you. Um, I'm going to let everybody post, post comments. Maybe uh, even if you have other advice, you could make a video response. You know, hopefully nobody's going to be outraged or insulted by this, this video. I'm sure there are some straight men that would think that probably telling them upfront is the right thing to do. I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think you know. You don't have an obligation to tell people that people that you're trans. You don't. You want to tell them because at some point they they kind of have to know because they risk rejecting you or being aggressive to you, you know. But you don't have an obligation to tell people up front. So let these people take you out and play your card right and you just might be successful. Okay, so uh, this will be all for today. So uh, have a nice week. See you people.